Okay, here is exercise number three inside weeks three and four of the 12 week lower back and core program. It is the arm raise and four point. Now, this exercise, like the leg slide exercise you saw earlier, is the precursor to the bird dog, which is this one, which is one of the fundamental core exercises for core stability and core control. So we're doing the arm raise because we need to learn that first before you go into a bird dog, which is in weeks five and six. It sounds a bit technical, but it's really important that you get these movements correct. Otherwise, you do the really good exercise incorrectly. So this one, like the leg slide, leg slide you need to make sure that your core is switched on that you're breathing correctly. Now that's what you learn in week, weeks one and two. So in weeks three and four, by the time you get to this, you should be pretty good at learning how to stabilize and switch that on because you've got to move your legs and your arms now and that takes a little bit of control. Now in this position here, what I want you to make sure of is that your shoulders are directly over your hands. Don't sit back on your knees like this. It's very common for people to weight bear on their legs because that's where the strength is. You come onto your hands. Now, some people have sore wrists or weak wrists, so go into a fist if that's, position, if that's the position you want to do, okay? I like my hands. It gives me a wee bit more base of support, which is what I like. Now, lower back can't be arched, okay? Can't be in this cat rounded position. You've got to find that neutral spine, get that correct, get this core on by whatever means you've learned to, if that's holding a wee, tightening through here, whatever, just don't push out, don't breath hold, okay? So breathing up in your ribs, holding here nice and taut. Now from this position, you can see I've already raised my arm, that's the exercise, but the actual part is pushing away from the floor, like a scapular press, tightening your core. Now when you raise your arm, you're not allowed to shift left or right, okay? You've got to trust. If I'm going to raise my right arm, I've got to trust this left arm. I raise my right arm forward to that position where I'm going to be in the bird dog, make a fist. Now, when I make a fist, I want to pull back. So I'm clenching here, solid position there, pushed away from the ground there, and pulled in with my lap on my right-hand side. Okay, so if my right arm raised, my right hand side. Now that's going to get my lat connecting in to my lumbar fascia, into my glute. That sort of cross section when you're doing a bird dog is what gives you the stability and it also makes that control a lot better. So this position here, core on, pressed up, one arm raised. It's a 10 second hold in this position. Okay, so you've got to hold it there for 10 seconds. Make sure this arm rotate it externally, solidly in here. Okay, it's a really solid position there. Up into here, raised, ready for that position where you're gonna move into the bird dog. So you've gotta nail that, you've gotta nail the leg side, and then in weeks five and six, you're ready to progress to that. I see so many and too many people going into a bird dog without that control and they're just doing completely wrong. They're learning bad pads. They're not really getting any gains out of it. So you're much better to dial it down, get that exercise right, that one arm raise, get it. It's hard enough just holding that arm up 10 seconds each side, 10 times. It's gonna be enough for you to try and switch that on. Plus, for people who are in pain, that's a really good pain reliever. Sometimes people who are in pain, they can't even do that because their back's too sore. So just raising the arm challenges the core and challenges those back muscles just enough to get them out of spasm and back to switching on which gives them that support and then that relief and stopping the spasm. So get stuck into that one. We'll see you next time.